All right, wrong room, sorry. Hey, my name is George Moffat. This How is you doing? Doing? Richie Raymond for Chapman. Um, you've been sitting here for a while. You need to use the restroom or Yes, please. Okay. Let me, uh, let me make sure. No way out. <laughs> okay. Just hang tight. Yeah. I don't think there's anybody here right now. Say again? I don't think there's anybody here right now. Nobody's done. Yeah. Nobody's done. Nobody's done. Excuse me, lad. So we're good. Richie Redman, or uh, the Pumhouse Bank Sheriff's Office. Yes, sir. I'm just going to put this on record, so I'm going to ask you to write down hard things and stuff like that, okay? <clears throat> All right, we're just here at the Pumhouse County Sheriff's Office, North District Station. Today's date's uh, July 19, 2018. We just want to talk to you, reference today's shooting uh, that occurred at uh, 1201 Sunset Point Road in Clearwater, Florida. It's reference case number SO18-225724. Approximate time is about 20, 30 hours. Um, just go through your, your kind of day, like right before you get to the store. Oh, uh, just, come, just coming back. Going home, stopping at the store first, and then right around the corner to home. Where do you live at, sir? Uh, 1116 Charles Street, Clearwater. It's in the Edgewater neighborhood. It's right off Sunset Point there. 1116 Charles, Charles Street, yes. That's Clearwater address? Yes, sir. What's the zip code? 33755. And uh, what's your phone? You got a current phone number? 727-543-5138. That's your primary phone number? Only phone, yes. Okay. Are you employed, sir? No, sir. Retired. Okay. Good for you, man. Well, it never lasts. I wish I was retired. Yeah, it never lasts. I got to retire for about 13 years, and now it's, it's that time. You okay. Come back, you know. Can you uh, spell your first name? Is it common spelling? Common spelling. Yeah. M I C H A. What's your last name? Drake, D-R-E-J-K-A. -E and what's your date of birth, sir? 8570. Okay. You mind if I call you Michael? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And you can call me George. Um, so just walk through. You you leave your house and you drive up to the store? No, I was coming back from the Wawa down on uh, Missouri and Rosary to okay. get some cash and head home. Stop by the store. Boom. Boom. Okay, so you get to the store, tell me, kind of walk me through what happens. Well, I park my car, and that's my store. I'm there every day, plain okay. and simple. And uh, every day there's somebody pulled in the uh, handicap spot there, just waiting on somebody. Okay. So I have a pet peeve about it. Sure. I you know, said, do you mind you know, moving? There's a spot next door, and there's spots out front. I 
to do you want to move in waiting on somebody and so there's plenty more spots and stuff for my team more spots okay. yes and uh she took that as an affront that i would speak to her that way started getting a little you know yelling and then of course, so you walk up to her car uh, actually i was walking around it. oh okay okay because i parked here she was here okay okay so i just checked for placards Plain and simple. And then she inquired about what, what was going on. So okay. And that's when I told her, you know, about the handicap spots. That's what did you tell her? I said, it's not very polite to park here when there's other people who need to use this. She says, is it affecting you directly? I said, if my mother-in-law rolls in, yes, it will be. So, okay. you know, there's nothing, it, there was none of that between us at all. Okay. No, nothing. It was just heated words, that's all. Okay. Uh, now I was speaking to her, I guess. Okay. Uh, she said, what do I have to do to get my man? I said, well, what's going to happen then? And a little more arguing back and forth, and I never saw what hit me from She was the driver of the car? She was in the car. Yeah, she okay. was the only person in the car All right. that I know of. You didn't see anybody else in the car? Tinted windows, almost dark, dark. Okay. Couldn't see through. All right. So you guys are talking? Yeah, exactly. She's out of the car by this time. Okay. Standing next to it, that's all. Okay. And uh, I got hit from the left side and thrown straight backwards in line with her car. So okay. If you saw this, if you saw the two white ladder lines mm -hmm. next to the thing, that's where I was standing. Okay, so I went almost straight back after I got hit. What do you mean hit? Uh, I was standing like this talking to her. Okay. I was hit from right here. The shoulder was pulled in front of me and then I was Oh, okay. And then All I right. hit the ground. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We'll get somebody to take pictures of all yeah, I'm not worried about that too much, but uh, I'm pretty sure I landed my wrist uh, under my gun, actually. That's how I landed, because that's hurting like a son of a bitch now. So you landed on the pavement? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was on the ground. Uh, so that time I had to put hand down to get hand out from underneath. As I come out, I start drawing my weapon. As I start leveling off my weapon, he makes his next step towards me, and 21 foot rule. I'm okay. on the ground already. Right. Okay. It happened so fast, and that was that. Did he say anything to you? Negative. Not a word. Okay. Did you say anything to him? No. Like back up? Or? No. Okay. Okay. So you draw your weapon. Talk, talk to me about that. From from well, the way I was able to draw it, I couldn't even I couldn't level it with one hand, so I had to eventually try and bring my left around for support okay and uh he made his step towards me and that was that how many steps did he make towards just you? one step okay and then that was that tell me talk to me about that what do you do from there i made sure there's no other threat around him because it spun him a little bit and he ran into the store immediate threat gone i did have her as a potential no, i mean beforehand before you fired the gun say ask me the question See, before you fired the gun yes once you pull the gun out, yes. Okay. You said he stepped towards you. Yeah. Because I made one, one more step. Towards, right. He made one more step towards me. And then what I, do you I, do? I didn't say a word. Gun okay. was already out. Okay. What do you do? Fire my weapon. How many times you fire the one weapon? time, sir? Okay. So you fire the weapon and then basically just scan. Uh, I ended up standing up, made sure all of the threats were clear, reholstered my weapon. Okay. All right. So he didn't come back at you again or anything like Not that. Not after he left. Where did he go? Into the store. Okay. Did you strike him? No. No, I mean with a gun. No. I, I don't know. Okay. I assume so, yes, because there was an ambulance there. Okay. So you don't know if you had I gun. know I know nothing, but I would assume so. Okay. All right. So uh, what do you do? Talk to me from there after you reholster your weapon. What after I reholster my weapon, everything's clear. Uh, somebody's screaming about her kids. Somebody's screaming about her kids. Uh, somebody thought they were in the car. So I said, everybody's inside, you know, to see if he can get her to unlock the car. Mm -hmm. And that, that was it. All I remember is screaming about kids. Okay. okay. What, what do you do from the, after you hear somebody talking about her kids? And Everything's on. Well, I asked one person to go, you know, see if she can unlock her car from the inside. And then I decided to extricate myself from the situation completely and just back to my vehicle and wait for you. So I took my house, or I took my firearm out, unloaded it, locked it, left it in the car. And what, wait, you, wait, you, what do you mean? You locked it back? Yes. Okay. I loaded it, locked it back, waited for you. Okay. Did you unload bag or anything like that? Or? No, God, okay. no. Just right. the one that was in the pipe. Okay. Um, 
So where did you store the weapon at? In there? Inside the vehicle. Oh, it was in my holster. Okay. Where, where did you put the gun at? Though? Right on top of the center console. Okay, on top of the center console. What do you do from there? Wait for you. Okay. Do you make any statements to anybody? Negative. Okay, on the parking lot? Other than telling people it's probably not a good idea to be in here right now. Okay. Your customers pulling in now. I spoke to no one else. Okay. All right. Well, I did inquire if he had his cameras on because I know he's got nine cameras in that place. You inquired to who? Uh, to, uh, the clerk through the door. Okay. I'm pretty sure he was on the phone with someone. Okay, so did you make contact with him? You walked up to the store and I, I walked up to the store through the door. Okay. You know, and he nodded yes. And okay. That was the end of that. Because I really want somebody looking at those tapes. It should okay. have everything. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm sure they do. Um, so, after all this happens, uh, deputy show up on the semi? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, talk to me about that. What happened from there? Uh, procedure deputy, you know, identified me. I identified myself. Okay. And from there, it was it was straightforward. Me on the ground, handcuffs. Okay. All right. Did you have contact with deputies here or detectives when they brought you here? Uh, one say they came in, got some uh, quick information, asked me if I needed any water, and I haven't okay. seen anybody since. All right. Did you talk to? Um, I'm sh I think they read your rights and stuff like that. Yes. Okay. okay. So. You've been advised of your rights? Yes. Sir. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to kind of slow it down a little bit and kind of, because I'm going to be asking specific questions about the, about the incident. And again, just like you, you know, you are, just be truthful with me. Um, and th just because we've got to kind of dot our I's and cross our T's, exactly what happened. I know you kind of went through it a little fast or whatever, so we're going to just go back a little bit. Is that okay? All right. you, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Michael. So, you get to the store. Yes. Um, where do you park your car? Uh, directly next to the uh, last parking space. Do you know north, east, south, west? Uh, facing so, south. Okay. So your your car is facing south. Yeah. In the last store. In the last spot. It's kind of furthest to the west. Right? Furthest to the west. Okay. Correct. And you're pointing front to the front. You okay? Uh, it just twins it now. Okay. So you're pointing to the front of the store, your vehicle. Yes, sir. What type of vehicle do you drive, sir? Uh, uh, 06 Toyota 4 Okay. What color is it? Uh, silver. Color. Okay. Which All right. So you park there, you exit your vehicle to, all, like you normally do, go, mm -hmm. in, go inside the store. Sure. You always park up front like, like that? Sometimes I'll park inside if there's nobody. Okay. On the west side? Parking, there's two parking spots down past the uh, handicap spot right there. Okay. Sometimes like by the bathroom it. area? You got it. Okay. So you exit your vehicle, mm -hmm. right? Um, like you always do, and you're getting ready to walk in the store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what what do you see from there? Uh, no placard on the front of the car. Because well, I have to walk by the car to. So you approach the vehicle. No, oh, front of the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Um, and your intentions on walking around the cars to look for placards? It's always, yeah. Okay. What well, where do you normally take pictures if there's you know? Okay. You take pictures if you don't see no placards, or Correct. you take, okay. Where do you normally look for placards? Uh, license plate, uh, windshield, and the front. Okay. See if there's a front license plate or anything. Okay. When you approached the vehicle, was the driver, did you make eye contact with the driver? I couldn't see the driver. The windows were so dark. Okay. I didn't know anybody was in the car. Right. Truthfully. So her window wasn't rolled down? No. The driver's side? Time, no. Okay. So you start walking around the car? Yeah, I walked from the front to the back and then just back up again. And okay. I took no pictures. I just, you know, sure. assumed I'm going to go and keep going. You know, but then the window came down. Was the car running? I couldn't tell. It's, it made, it's so quiet. Okay. These damn cars. Uh, it doesn't sound anything like mine, which right. is like a stop. So then when you come back around, is the window rolled down at that point? No, or? only after I get back up in front and she uh, on my way into the store and she asked me, you know. So she rolls her window down? Yes, sir. Do you make verbal contact with her first, or did she, she make it? verbal contact with me first? Well, I explained what I did. I asked me what I was doing, of course. Okay. And so she asked you what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Car? Yeah. I and said you said I'm looking for handicap placards. You know. Okay. And then it ensued with, well, what's that matter so, to you? Okay. And, uh, so when you when you when she rolls her window down, she says, uh, "Hey, you know, what are you doing? How far are you away from the car? To the front of the car." Okay, so you're standing at the front? Yeah, about the front of the car, which is the, Are you on the, the sidewalk, yeah. Okay, so you're on the sidewalk. Yeah, I'm not exactly in front of the car. I'm on the sidewalk at the front of the car. Okay. So 
after you start talking to her, do you approach the driver's side of the car? Yeah, just uh, of course. I don't want to yell back. And right. With I, that's, yeah. uh, that's understandable. Yeah. So how far do you approach the vehicle? Um, distance wise, uh, approximately. God, it's it's gonna be she's in the car and it's, it's let's say I'm I'm the driver. She yeah. could probably smell your breath. You know, okay. After a while. It's not like I was leaning in her car or anything. Okay. Hopefully you yeah. can't smell my breath. Oh yeah, hopefully you can smell the line. <laughs> so yeah. how can you show me how far let's say I'm her. How far do you come up to her? By the window. Okay, so a couple feet. Yeah, I'm not okay. gonna encourage into her car. Alright. So you walk up to her car and you say I was looking for mm -hmm. handy handicap placards. Correct. And then what did she say? Uh, what's it matter to you? I said, well, it wouldn't matter to me unless my mother-in-law showed up right now and needed a place to park. But it does matter to you because somebody's parked there at that moment. Yeah. Are you sure? So yeah. And your mother-in-law wasn't in the car. No. no. Okay. She asked well, me what would matter. I gave her a hypothetical. Was there anybody in the car in your vehicle? No, that was just me. Th that's disabled or anything like that. No. no. Okay. So you tell her if my mother-in-law was here. Right. Okay. That's the way she was leaning. Yeah. Right. Right. That's all. Awesome. Okay. I gave her an example. Was she a little heated? Very. Okay. Um, so you guys start having a discussion back yeah, and forth. A little heated discussion back and forth, definitely. All right. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. That's exactly about the same thing. We're going back about. The I know, but same exactly, thing. exactly what was said. I couldn't even. Oh, the thing I remember her saying is, do I have to get my man? And I said, well, what's that mean? Are we going to fight? Okay. Uh, but what I guess so was her answer. Okay. Uh, what were you saying to her, though? It's all about, about the placards. Okay. That all you don't have the No, all about the space, not the placards, okay. per se, but the space. Did you ask her move? Yeah. Okay. Um, did you say, hey, I'm going to call the police? Mm -hmm. Say that at first. I wasn't going to bring that up. I okay. thought a simple courtesy would do. So you asked her to move? Courtesy, yes. Okay. And what did she say? Uh, who are you talking to me like this? Who do you think you are? Okay. Kind of mind your own business? You got it. Okay. Did she say mind your own business? Because no. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Okay. Um, so basically, you guys have a heated conversation, mm -hmm. right? And you're standing that close to her car, um, and she mentions her man. Because, again, um, no man in the car. I don't know of any man. Okay. Whatever. All I hear is it mentioned. Do you want to, Do you want me to get your man? That's exactly what she said? No. She said, do you want me to get my man? My man. I'm sorry. Yes, that's exactly so, what she said. Okay. Um, let me ask you a question, Mike. Um, at any time and point, because we all know parking in a handicapped spot without placards is illegal, correct? Yeah, but that's not why. I can't. <laughs> sure. Right, right. I, and I get that. Um, but at any time and point when you saw the vehicle, you checked the vehicle for handicap placards? Of course. Okay. You didn't see no handicap mm -hmm. placards? Um, at any time and point when you noticed that, why wouldn't you pick up the phone and right. contact law enforcement? There it is. Here she comes. Wait a um, nah, I can't even remember what she said there. Okay. Because all we were having was a verbal argument okay. between two people. Right. I didn't know about a third person. Okay. I was literally blind. Sure. And and why would you? To the ground. Right. But wouldn't it, wouldn't it be best, you think, to call law enforcement and say, hey, there's somebody illegally parked? It's not going to help. She'll leave. Okay. Well, she may they not always know. always do. Well, she may not know that you, you called if you walked away, right? <laughs> true. Very true. I, I mean, this I'm, was an argument. I'm right. not putting words in your mouth. I'm just, no. I'm asking you, you know, a question. Um, so, do you agree with that? Yeah, with the woman. Okay. Um, so, you guys are bickering back and forth. Um, next thing you know, you get pushed. I'm blind. Pushed nothing. Tackled. I'm okay. blindsided, dude. Okay. I'm on the ground hard. So, he shoved you pretty hard. No, he, I, for what it felt like is he come running at me. Okay, like full force. Dude, I haven't like, been hit like that since I was in my 20s. Okay, all right. So he shoves you to the ground. You fall to the ground. Correct. Okay. Slightly dazed. Not very. Slightly. Okay. Do you hit your head? Don't know. Don't feel anything. Okay. Don't know. So you don't know if it's sideways like this. I know this landed under my, under my gun. Okay, so I landed on my wrist on my gun. Okay. Had to reach over to extract my hand. 
to push I yourself back. To push myself up off of that, and as I'm reaching and pulling around, he's standing in front of me. As I come up, he's taking a step towards me. Okay. Now let's discuss that. Um, if you don't mind, could you sit on the ground real quick for me? That's where I was. I don't want you to hurt it. No, 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 no. Okay. We do. So you're on the ground, right? I'm on the ground like this. Okay. How far is the guy away? Front of the car. He's at the front of the car? Front of the so car. So he's on that sidewalk kind of curb area? No, he's in front of the car, off the sidewalk. Okay, right on the edge? You got it. So how far do you think he's away from you? I might have been right at the edge of the back of the front door. Of the car? Correct. Okay. All right, all so he's up by the front this. tires? He's up by the front tires. No, further than that, man. Further than this? Further than that. Okay. I was back further. He had to be further than that. Okay. So he's about this far, yeah, maybe even further. And as I come up this way, because I have to come up off my hand, all right, I bring the gun out with me. And as I'm coming back this way, it won't, I can't support it. So I hit this. Okay. And as what does he do? He, that's, as I come out like this, he's taking his step. Okay. Taking a step? Taking his steps towards me. Okay. How close does he get to you before you fire the gun? Maybe to the front tire. So it's, show me where. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, so right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, was he charging after you? Two steps running. Okay. Well, he was. you're saying he was running? Well, it would have been running when he got out of behind the car. Okay. All right. I gotta get both. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you to hurt. So. No. You what did you help? think then, Mike? Say again, what did you think when that happened? I've never been in that situation ever. I thought kicks were coming. Okay. So you thought he was going to... I thought kicks were coming, or at least he'd be on you top need, of you me. You need help? No, I got it. Okay. okay. Left arm's good. All right. So, you're thinking he's going to come kick you? I'm thinking he's coming to do the rest of it. Did you see him with a firearm? No, sir. I didn't see him with anything. Okay. What do you mean the rest of it? Whatever beating was coming after okay. that. So you thought he was going to beat you and stuff? <sighs> You're not kidding. Okay. All right. So if he can't hit me that hard to begin with from, from blind side from the get-go, what else should I expect? Okay. All right. So you're on the ground. You said he was running at you, but he only took like a step. He would have if he had cleared to, you know, cleared that and come around towards me again with right. that second foot. Okay. That so he only, made, he only made one step. He barely made the second step before I pulled the trigger. Okay. What kind of gun do you have? Uh, Glock 23. Okay. All right. That's a uh, 9 cal. Oh, 40 cal. I'm not a gun guy, so I'm not, I can't keep track. So, uh, you know how many rounds you had in the mag, stuff like that? Uh, yeah, sure do. There should be 13 left in that bag right there. So it was fully loaded? One in the pipe. Okay. All right. Yeah, 13, 14, 14 rounds. Okay. Why do you think the guy's going to beat you? Because I just got blindsided out of nowhere. Why? What else would I think? Oh, I'm just asking. Just yeah, I've, I've never been in that situation before. First thing I think if I'm getting hit like that, somebody's coming at me for more. Okay. What did the female do at that point? Uh, the female just started screaming. Was she in the car or out of the car? Out of the car. Okay. She's, she's screaming that you just shot him? Or? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. You just hear her screaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm not paying attention to her anymore because I moved away from her. She's not a threat to me anymore. Okay. All right. Uh, let me ask you a question. You mentioned early that you asked Mustafa about video and stuff like that. Correct. That there were, Do you think the video would show him charging it? Or it should. Or? Okay. There should be an angle right on that parking spot. Okay. What happens if I told you that I looked at the video and in no time and point does he come running up towards you? He actually takes a step back. I would disagree. Okay. I, I'm just asking. Yeah, okay. I would disagree in a heartbeat. Okay. All right. So you said after he runs in the store and stuff like that. Did you see me get hit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Where did you come from? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, where do you we'll come from? Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get into we'll that. But did, did, she, did she, uh, she walks around the vehicle. Does she go anywhere? Do you see her go anywhere? She went to the front of the store. She was inside for a while. Then she got in and moved her car. Okay. So she came back outside the store. She did. 
Did you guys have any discussion? The only thing I said to her was somebody's trying to see if you've got keys for your children. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is all. But after after our she initial say anything drink, else? No, no. Okay. Not to me. Not like me. started I, swearing at you. No, or anything negative, like that? negative. Our argument was totally about the handicap spot. Before she runs in the store, did she make any threats or? I uh, wouldn't know. I was trying to assess my own situation, sir. Okay. Did. Um, when the gentleman, before you fired the gun, did he make any threats towards you? I After never he heard a you? word. Okay. So he didn't say, I'm going to kick your ass? I never heard a word of anything. Once you, I got hit, the only thing I heard was her, and I never heard him. What until, he was hit, until he was shot, and then okay. he started saying things. What did, what did you hear her say? Screaming. No, no, beforehand, before you shot. You said you heard her say something. Oh, no. Okay, so no. Okay. But you didn't hear him say, after he shelved you, did you hear him I, say anything? Just pain, I, that, which is why I assume he was hit. Okay. What do you mean pain? <coughs> Can you explain? Ow. That? Ow. Okay. Yeah. And then right. back to the store. Okay. Because to me, it looked like when I shot, he was spun a little bit, and mm -hmm. his moment, he just kept going with his momentum and went that way. Okay. Let me... Let's, Kind of back up because I'm I'm just trying to understand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before um, you you shoot him, okay, um, and he sh he had already shoved you, right? You said you thought he was going to come kick you and basically finish the job. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you hear him make any statements? Negative. He never made a word. Okay. Until like I'm fired. coming to. I never said a word until I fired, but then uh, he never said a word when he dumped me either. Right. So you never said, what, what no, the hell, sir. dude? Okay. So you guys don't have any type of... I barely even saw the man. No, I mean, after he oh, pushed no. you, you were on the ground. There's You're trying to get to your sidearm. No talks between us. Okay. At all. You don't ask him, what the hell, dude? No. Why'd you push me? No. Um, he doesn't make any statements. I'm going to come kick your ass? No. Negative. Okay. Didn't say a word to me. So he made no threats that he was going to come finish his job. It was an assumption, definitely. Okay. So you just assumed he was going to come do that. Uh, any smart person would. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, okay, I get it. I understand it. So, and then you shoot him, um, just one time, correct? One time, sir. Okay. Um, neutralize. And then that's he it. just neutralize it. Neutralize, and then that's it. There's no reason to. What do you mean? Can you elaborate? What do you mean neutralize? Uh, neutralize the immediate threat. Okay. And then that's it. I don't. No reason to go overboard anyway. Sure. Okay. I get it. And then he I runs shoot, in. The, I shoot to save my own ass, and that's that. Okay. And then he runs in the store, um, and then by that time, fire rescue. Three things are right. Okay. Things you unload on. your gun. You have contact with deputies. Correct. How often do you go to that store? You said every okay. day. Every day. Okay. Um, do you ever have any type of issues with people parking in that? One tub. That's it. Okay. What well, can you kind of talk to me about that? Oh yeah, that was a business, a big old septic truck parked okay. there. How long ago was that? Many weeks. Okay. Don't know. Like a month maybe? Yeah, many weeks. Okay. Can you kind of talk to talk to me about that? We had an argument. What's that? We had an argument so because he didn't like me walking around the truck taking pictures too. Where was the truck parked? In the handicapped spot. Okay. Um, so was it tank truck? Facing the store as well? Basically the same as same the young thing. lady's car? Except his was easy. They're yeah. a local company. Sure. All right. So you were walking around the vehicle yeah. doing the same thing? Just took pictures that time. Okay. Then he got out and confronted me. Okay. What, talk to me about that. Wanted to come at me. Wanted a piece of me, of course. Did he then, say that? Yeah. Then the boss, then I called his boss, and then that was over. That was it. Anybody make any threats? Kick your ass. Uh, you know. Right. Okay. Did you say that back to him? Like, no, there's no reason to. He's about four foot taller than I am. Oh, Jesus. Um, so you said local company. What do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, double A. They're uh, right up in Dunedin. Okay. And their drivers do that on more than few occasions. They is it a phone number on the side of the truck? Sure is. Okay. That's one of the bad things about putting the phone number on the side of your truck. Yeah. You That's took, why it was called. Did you take a picture of the phone number or something? Yeah, well, okay. definitely. All right. So you called the company? You sure said, did. Okay. I talked with the boss. All right. Yeah. What did you tell the boss, man? 
told the boss man where his truck was parked, all this, and how his, his employee was acting after I took pictures of it and such. And that was that. He said he'd work it out with his man. I said, fair enough. Okay. Any discussion about you having a gun or anything like that? I didn't have no gun. There was no gun shown. Okay. Did you have your sidearm on you at I that? I always have my sidearm. Okay. You got a CCW, I'm assuming? Correct. Okay. All right. I'm just, I'm, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. I'm, I'm just carrying, asking. I've okay. been carrying my whole adult life. Yeah. I mean, you got to for that. Sure. I don't blame you. Do you go shooting a lot? Not anymore, no. Okay. When was the last time you went shooting? Years. All right. What kind of firearms training do you have before you? You know, got your CCW and uh, well, shooting. besides hunting, uh, my father was a, a state cop for twenty years, so I've had to drill. Oh, yeah, about you, you personally, what kind of yeah? I, you had? I trained with my dad a little bit, and okay. I trained with other cops at the range, but uh, as far as uh, uh, formal training, no. Any part military, anything like oh, that? No, no, no. negative. Part was, of law enforcement. I wasn't allowed to be a cop. He said he'd break my arm. Twenty years of shit working bullshit. Your dad said that. Yes, sir. What kind of drills did he run you through? Uh, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, we, you know what I mean? You were practice from your back or anything like that in the past? From my You were practice shooting from your back in a, in a position where you're on the ground or? Oh, I've practiced sitting before. I've never practiced laying on my back. Okay. But I knew sitting would always be come into play at some point in time. All right. Besides the fact I was a driver for Uber, so. Okay. All um, right. I've never been on my back before. No. All right. Let me ask you a question. Um, you, you mentioned um, that, you, that you go to the store all the time and you had that one incident with the uh, septic company. Yeah. Any other incidents prior to that? Do you ever have any discussion with the owner of the store? Yeah, and, uh, he saw me that day. No, no, I mean about about these handicaps, somebody parking in the handicap spot. Yeah, I, t I talked to him the day of the septic. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we're, we're, Was that... Uh, uh, Mustafa, is that his name? I don't know his name because there's another guy too. Oh, okay. I can't keep straight. What did you tell him? Same thing. He saw it parked out there. I gave him the, the phone number, and you could see the company logo on the side of the truck. Okay, that was that. There's, there's no reason. He, he, he doesn't have any reason to come out and stop people from parking in his handicap. Did you, you know what I mean? did you ever have a discussion with the owner and stuff, saying, "Hey, you guys need to enforce this"? No. Okay, that's his prerogative. Well, I know, but I mean, clearly there's an issue with people parking there, wouldn't you say? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I'm not always there. All right. So, I'm not trying to get in arguments with people either, you know? Right. I mean? Absolutely. But when they see me doing stuff like that, they automatically think, hey, what's this guy trying to do? Fuck me? Right. And. You know, wouldn't you think that a little bit? If somebody can't take a picture around your car? Well, like, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Exactly. But if somebody can't take a picture around your car, you'd probably think the same thing, right? No, I'd ask a question first instead of going with the mouth. Well, let me, I know better. Let, let me ask this. That, that parking space, and this is just that parking lot in particular, there's actually other like empty parking spaces that are probably closer and have better access to the front door. That's the only one that has access so to that ramp. In, in this particular situation, though, if somebody can park right next to the ramp and walk around to it, does it really matter all okay. that much? Um, I'm not sure where this is at. What's this? <laughs> I'm just curious. Is there a hit from whether or not it's worth worth uh, worth an argument over the place. Yes, space. yes, I think it is. Do you? Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, wouldn't you instead of an argument? Because not just, an argument. If you, right. you know what I mean. A discussion. I'm agreeing with what he just said. That's okay, all. but don't you think um, instead of putting yourself in that type of circumstance? that it may escalate because people are crazy I mean right there's you have road rage incidents you got people getting shot all the time all, all kinds of stuff right mm -hmm. so he, he, hear me out wouldn't it be best instead of putting yourself in those circumstances to contact law enforcement and have a deputy come out there or Clearwater Police mm -hmm. okay. well, Clearwater Police and I don't get along we have some Fourth Amendment issues what, what is that? What do you mean? Fourth? Uh, Clearwater Police illegally searched my car. Well, okay. You know, How long ago was that? It took, oh, last summer. Oh, yeah. They, so, they took it upon themselves to go through my glove box when all they had to do was replace something back in my vehicle. What was that? My firearm. Okay. So they took your firearm out of the vehicle? Always. Okay. All right. But again, back to the question. Just, I mean, wouldn't you think it would be better instead of putting yourself in that type of circumstance that what, could escalate. Okay. What does this have to do with I'm just asking, I mean, being on my back and 
That, that, that does. You told me you were on your back and stuff, but I'm just saying, don't you think that it would be best to notify law enforcement? You said you don't like to argue. You said you don't like to have confrontations. Uh, well, Wouldn't point be taken, but uh, okay. you were straying a bit off course, I think. No, we'll, we'll get back to that, but I'm just asking you a simple question. Do you think it would be best to call law enforcement and have them address that issue? You'll never make it. Okay. Because the person what? Will they be? leave. Okay. They'll never make it. All right. So it's, Unless it's, you guys are literally parked there, do you really sometimes think Sometimes we are, but sometimes we're real close. Right. But you're not going to drop a, a, an important something for... Sure. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Why bother you with stupid things like that? Okay. I'm I'll, sorry. I'll ask not after. Uh, I'm not after being a justice kind of guy, but when I just say something to a person about being parked there, I don't expect it to go where it went. So that's why you don't call, because by the time you call, always, the, man. they'll be gone. They always are. Okay. I'll ask a related question, though. When you take the pictures, what are your plans with the pictures? Like, what, to what, show his boss. What's, what's the purpose in, in taking that's the pictures? That's for his boss. Do you take pictures of other people's cars at all? No, actually, like no, see, just, the, just commercial. I didn't want to take a picture of their car. There's no reason to. I'm not going to turn them into anybody. I just want to ask them if they think it's right to be parked where they're parked. Okay. Do you, do you understand that? I mean, do you, does it ever go through your mind that when you're going up and, and talking to these people and informing them of, of them being parked in a handicapped spot, that they might not take that right? That uh, this uh, might go sideways a little bit? Well, sure, but that's why I take precautions as well. Like what? What kind of precautions? Uh, I'm a very careful person and I have a permit. Okay, do you think you'd go knock on these people's, or I shouldn't say knock on these people's Yeah, permits. I don't do think you'd go confront them. anyone well, right I mean, to their it's, face. It's, it's, it's approaching, so we use the term approach instead of confront. Okay, but it is uh, up to the person who's in the car to actually if, confront. If you go up to somebody and approach them, they could take that as being confrontational. You can't uh, really interpret how people are going to take That would make them it. confrontational. But if, if you go up to somebody and you approach them about being parked in a handicapped spot, um, do you think you'd be willing to do that and take that risk if you didn't take these precautions? Because you don't know how to react. I've been carrying a gun most of my adult life, so I, I can't really answer that uh, in a way that would satisfy okay. you. Okay. Well, know I mean, what would mean? you approach these people if you didn't? Once again, I, I don't know. I would have to say, yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't know because, like I said, I. You always carry. Like, I've always carried firearms. Okay. Since how long? How long are you carrying it? Uh, I was 22. How old are you now? 48. 47, sorry. I'll be 48 in August. Me too. So, um, and we'll go dive back into the whole him showing you and stuff like that. I think that's where it all lies. Sure, and the video and everything like that. Um, if Let's say on the video, I watch a video or whatever, and... He, he doesn't approach you or make any steps towards you like you indicated. That's um, exactly what I saw, though. Okay. So you saw him come towards you? Yes, sir. Okay. What happens if he if he didn't come towards you? Would you still Hell fire no. around? There's no reason to. If he's retreating, then I don't need to use my firearm. What if he's just standing still? I don't still don't need to use my firearm. All right. Did you see, when you saw this guy, after he pushed you, did you see anything on his face? Did you see any facial expressions or anything? Negative. All no. I saw was a man trying to do me. What were his hands doing? Did you see I that? have no clue. Okay. I'm so, were you able to see him? Were you able to see the guy's hands? I didn't see his hands, per se, and I didn't see his face at all. Okay. I don't know what he looks like. Could you see his legs, his feet, anything like that? I might have seen his legs. I know he was a black guy. That's it. Okay. Or maybe his arms. I'm not sure. Could you see anything that he was doing other than... Oh, watching his feet, watching his hips. All right. So if he was standing still, you would have seen no reason to no sir. pull the trigger. Okay. If he hadn't twitched, I never would have pulled that when, trigger. When that gun was out, did you make the decision to, to shoot when you pulled the gun out, or was Negative. that decision made afterwards? Negative decision I made as soon as he moved. Okay. Did you remember having time to think and process? Well, Having time to think. But you as soon as that gun was out, that the twitch goes. That's it. Okay. But you said you actually pulled the gun out before you made the decision to shoot, right? There's about, well, I'm not pulling it out with the intention of pulling the trigger. Okay. Okay. Now, if I, I come up on target and it's, I need to shoot, I'm shooting. If you would have pulled that gun, between the time you pulled that gun, if you would have been on your back and you pulled that gun and you had it on him, 
If he would have been standing still, do you think that trigger would have gotten pulled? No. Did you have time to really look at him and, and tell that he was coming towards you? The feet said he was coming towards me, okay. and so did the hips. What kind of twitch was it? The, the hip twitch. Right foot comes around this way like he's going to come right past that car thing, and that was that. How much time do you think it was between when you pulled that gun out and when you, I don't when know. you pulled the trigger? I don't know. How much time did it seem like to you? It I'm, seemed like a split second. Okay. All right, Michael, uh, we'll be right back. You got to use the restroom or anything? No, I'm good, thank you. Do you need more water, partner? Okay. We'll be right back, all right? We got to look at a few things to see if you kind of place them together with what you're telling us, all right? Michael? Yeah. How you doing, sir? All right. So uh, we spoke before. I'm Detective Shields in the Sheriff's Office. Um, we're here to do a buckle swab, which is a swabbing of your cheeks. If you consent to it, uh, we're going to go over a consent form here. Um, and then we're going to do some overall photographs of your injuries and overall photographs of you. And well, just the, the, swab. the swab is just to collect any DNA or anything like that that might go along with uh, this incident here. Let me grab a, um, let me grab one that's not written on already. You have one? No. Yeah. And you need to be taking my DNA. Why, sir? You need to be taking my DNA, why? Well, I'm going to go over the form with you, and if you, it's a consensual buckle oh, swab. Oh, just curious. Yes, sir. Just because you're involved with this incident, we want to see if there's any um, DNA that comes up with matching on the gun, or what, you know, all that good stuff. I hope not. That was a Dover, Delaware cop's gun. <laughs> sir? I said, I hope not. That was a Dover, Delaware cop's gun. Oh, really? <laughs> all right, let me, excuse me for one moment. Let me make sure. George Yankee Alpha 175. Mm -hmm. uh, he had the gentleman left out here. Okay, thank you. Um, all right. Today's going to be July 19th, 2018. Location is going to be here at our North District Station. Um, we're going to go over consent for a buckle swab. I print your name here. Agree to provide a buckle swab to a uh, detective. I'm going to put my name in. Uh, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. I understand that the law enforcement personnel will take this buckle swab of my saliva and have it analyzed. I also fully understand that the results of the analyst, uh, analysis can and will be used against me in a court of law. I have been fully informed that I, I I am under no obligation to provide this sample and I can refuse to consent. I, and then know your name, acknowledge that I am freely and voluntarily providing this written consent for law enforcement to take the buckle swab. The law enforcement personnel have not made any threats or promises of any kind to induce me to give this consent. 
I have the had the opportunity to ask questions and consult with a lawyer if I so desired. Having been fully informed, I authorized law enforcement to take my saliva samples, which is the buckle swabs, from my person on or before then today's date. If you agree to that, are you agreeing to that? Um, what happens if I don't? Just you don't, and anyway, we don't collect it. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason, really. Okay. Yeah, truthfully. So you're. I mean, I'm already. You already know I'm involved with this. So. Yes, of course. But yeah. so, which is what you explained that this would be for. Yes, sir. So if you already know, then I don't think I need to do that. Okay. Do you want time to consult with an attorney? Tonight, that's not. That well, possible. no, I'm not saying tonight. I'm just saying before you consent oh, to this, or if at all possible to consent to it. Yeah, I would love that. Okay. So you're refusing at this time. Yeah, tonight. Okay. It's okay. We'll do everything else if there's okay. anything else. I mean, there, there, there's no question that I am who, you know. Sure. So we have at uh, 9.17 p.m. Yes, sir. If it turns out it's necessary, well, then I will be more okay. happy. I'm just putting on here that 9.17 p.m. you refused, and I've signed it as a witness and my badge number. Okay? All right. Um, now we're going to do some overall photographs of you, sir, sure. and of any injuries that you may have. Okay? Oh, so if you could stand up right here for me, sir. These are our forensics technicians, uh, forensic specialists that work here at the sheriff's office, and they're going to get some overall stuff. Actually, would you, uh, one second, would you be able to put the shirt back, back on? Because you had that on at the time. Oh, yeah. I just, if we just did it, we take it off. Trying to button no, I understand. Like a slob. That's all right. <clears throat> This is basically it as far as noticeable injuries. Everything else is just muscular and on the inside. Okay. So as far as uh, the only visible one, that's it. Okay. You can take your shirt off. Let me check this out. Tattoo as well, okay? One under the sleeve. Okay, under the sleeve? Mm -hmm. Okay, feel up to that. Casey, get this right here too. The abrasion on the right. Oh, okay, okay. okay.
What does that say in your tattoo? Madness and sadness. Used to, uh, her, her, oh. her initials were S A D, mine are M A D. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's Do you have any on your back? Those are no, it? Okay. That's it. okay. Do you want me to do like what the shirt off? Then we can. There's no need to do. You, you I don't believe so. No. Do, you any, do you feel like there's any injuries on your back we'll or just, anything? No, 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 we'll no. Just the shoulder where I landed, and obviously. Um, actually, do you have seen. any marks on this shoulder? On the shirt, probably. Just the but shirt. On the, yeah, on the Can back we just go ahead and take there. a peek? Let's lift up your there you go. shirt. I don't think I do. Just to make sure. Yes. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Yeah. You have a scar on your back. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, so what's on your your hand right here? Uh, that's going to be from handcuffs. Okay, we'll just go ahead and document that also. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, we'll just document that as well. Sorry. It's okay. Do you have anything on that wrist? No. No? Really. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, can you flip it over for us? Oh, yeah, there's a little mark right there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and have a seat again. Thank you. I'm just going to actually check your shirt out and see if there's a mark on the shoulder area. That was just some um, scalp marks right there. Oh, it's right there, yeah. Do you want me to get this back? Okay, would you mind doing me a favor and standing back up and putting this back on and we can document it as you are wearing it, please? Thank you. Oops, sorry. It's okay. There you go. Trisha. Okay, we'll start with the front. And we'll work with oh, the tear right there. Sorry. And that is something new from today, sir? The rip? Yes, it is. Okay. This was a very good shirt. need to do a GSR of the hands and um, Michael we're just going to observe your clothing for any possible blood if there's any possible blood on your clothing then we're going to have to collect that as well okay all of it uh, whatever it may be we still yeah, need to no, kind no, of no, consult. just, just sure. wondering that's all sure. yeah we'll give you like oh, a yeah, super <laughs> Go back against the wall. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. 
the, the side. Left? The dark mark. I saw that, but... Oh, ink stain. Yeah, so I'll okay. look from your pen. Yep. Okay. Can you just put your arms out by your side for me? Mm -hmm. Was this closed, like buttoned, or was it hanging open? No, it was not buttoned. It was okay. open. Don't know if it was hanging open, but it was not buttoned. Okay. Okay. Let's see a little something right there. We'll get that. It's a hole. Could you turn and face that wall for me, please? Okay, can you turn and face this wall over here to my right? Okay. All right, I'm going to have you um, just photograph this little area right here. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a hole. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a it little is. hole. Okay. <laughs> it looked like a little, before you stretched it, it looked like a little red mark. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't see anything that's popping out at me right now other than just the marks on his shirt from where he fell. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and have a seat again. Thank you. I'm just going to do this GSR kit, okay? Michael, were you wearing that hat at the time of this incident? Yes, I was. Okay. And we'll just grab a couple of photos of that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if I can get this open. What's your full name, middle name included? Michael Andrew Draco. Okay. It's D R A J. D R E J K A. Sorry about that. No worries. Nobody's been able to spell my entire life. <laughs> and are you right or left handed? Right. Have you washed your hands since the incident? Unfortunately, they didn't tell me quick enough in the bathroom when I went here mm -hmm. the first time. It was a okay. habit, and I almost got to wash them. But, but you didn't? We stopped and just threw the water off my hands. Oh, okay, so you were, there was water on it, but you didn't have soap or anything? Yeah, okay. Just on the inside. Okay. Nothing out here. Okay. And what's your occupation? Retired. You're retired, okay. Yes. And what are your hobbies? Uh, I don't have, I can't afford hobbies anymore. Okay. Alrighty. And what have you done, like what are your activities since the incident and now? Uh, been involved with you folks. Okay. Did you call 911? No, I didn't. You uh, didn't? Okay. No, I Someone else did? into the store and I imagine that was taken care of very quickly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And did the, did you ride in an ambulance or anything? Were you injured? Okay. They just brought you straight here? Oh, yeah, after sitting there for a while, yeah. Okay, after sitting at the... Yeah, I didn't go anywhere yeah, else, but okay. from there to here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. I just got two swabs, and I'm going to do both of your hands. Put that hand first. You just kind of want to hold it up like this on the table? That's better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's just, you know, you procedure. Yeah. And I just need to get your palm. I know if it hurts, I can just. That's all right. I got you. Yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to photograph it. Oh. 21 30. Yeah, 21 30. You said you retired, Michael. What kind of work did you do before? I'm Clarence Tree Chairman. It means I cut trees around the power lines. Oh. So I spent many, many weeks here in Florida before I finally moved here. <laughs> Where did you live prior to moving here? Delawarean. Uh -huh. Born and raised, if you can believe it. A little tiny state up there. You know. <laughs> right next to Rhode First one to ratify the Constitution, you know. Size or anything? No, it doesn't matter. One size fits all. Oh. Michael, hang out for a few. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.